Uh, I like NVIDIA or NVIDIA, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I like it as well, putting a nice bear flag, holding on to the five-day moving average. This thing starts confirming uh, it goes lower as well. So definitely the value is uh, to the downside. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition, Tuesday edition of uh, the AccessToTrade.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. So again, market continues uh, to slide. Uh, again, the big numbers, which we talked about you know, several days ago, there were double rejection off uh, the 20-day moving average, kind of what we saw here, which led to this really aggressive move for about a week and a half. And that's kind of what we're seeing now. It hasn't gotten aggressive yet, but again, it doesn't need to. That's the whole point. They could, they could literally uh, have one candle down and test the bottom of the range here, or they could just prolong the selling and just kind of walk it down day by day, day by day. But you could see what happened. We talked about yesterday, uh, first day close below the five-day moving average. Uh, today's bulls uh, confirmed that five-day moving average, and now again we're just starting uh, this, you know, this decline, right? This this decline, and now again, like we talked about in last night's video, if you believe that stocks trade from demand to demand, you can see this 350 level uh, is the measure potential, right? For for the bulls to have kind of another test uh, of last week's lows, and and again, the coolest part, and what, what I'm seeing though uh, in this tape, the, the consistency of how many strong stocks there still are uh in this in this crazy crazy tape uh you know like upst uh an apps you know absolute monster right absolute monster is a big big pivot on this thing uh today letter u uh continues to be very strong tesla broke out today uh, on a you know pretty heavy volume with a lot of option flow we'll talk about that uh in a second but for every one of those diamond in the roughs that look pretty good, and NET also, NET continues to be uh, just an absolute beast. Uh, the whole cloud space, look at you know, look at CRM, uh, continues to be good. So there's definitely pockets of strength still out there. Uh, and again, if you do your homework and you kind of figure out where the strength is, but instead of trying to pick out two, three, four names uh, in a cloud, you know, in, in, a, in a field of manure, th there's a lot of good value. Uh, on the downside and whether they confirm today or about to confirm in the next several days, uh, the value continues to be uh, to the downside. I do like Tesla uh, for tomorrow. Again, I think uh, the, this is the highest close in this whole formation and they were coming once again with very, very aggressive near term uh, out of the money call buyers. You saw uh, 830 weeklies. We saw uh, 850 weeklies, we saw the 1029 expiration, 880s, 890s. So there's definitely big institutional money flow uh, on Tesla. And if it could just start confirming uh, today's channel tomorrow or even the next couple of days, you should start seeing the next leg up. Obviously, the market would have to uh, participate a little bit more. The, the, you know, the bulls would have to kind of step up and kind of try to reclaim back uh, the five-day moving average. But de definitely Tesla. Tesla is definitely one of the ones uh, that are standing out here. But for, again, for all the names that are strong comes the names that are weak and are mirroring uh, the NASDAQ 100. And look at Apple. Uh, Apple, not only did Apple close below the five-day moving average, after the close, they came out and they said, listen, we're going to slash uh, iPhone production due to the uh, chip crunch. Uh, and, you know, the Apple suppliers are going to get hit, right? The Broadcoms of the world, uh, SWKS is of the world. It's going to obviously uh, affect them. And after the close, you know, it's not like the market's getting slaughtered, but after the close, we're still getting uh, more aggressive selling that kind of uh, played out into the close. And now you're going to get a lot of setups, for example, on semiconductors, right? NVIDIA, it, you know, bit the bullet for the last couple of days is trying to hold on to the five day moving average. All it takes is one more day, right? One more day. Uh, for this thing to confirm and it's going to start you know joining the selling uh celebration that we've seen on a lot of names you know look at names for example facebook facebook just cannot get out of its own way right just cannot get out of its own way uh names like microsoft for example right that had really really big moves and today closed below the 50-day moving average it gave up 
uh, all the strength that it had in the last three, four days. It's still above the five, but again, you use your imagination. If, they, if it starts confirming uh, the five-day moving average, what can happen? And it, even a perfect scenario today, just to give you an idea, when buyers become tired, look at a name like Netflix, right? You had back-to-back -back days of upgrades, right? It got upgraded yesterday, it got sold. It got upgraded again today, and yesterday, again, you can see how it closed below the five-day moving average yesterday. Today, it confirmed the five-day moving average, and here's my whole point, how stocks don't need to get destroyed, but this is how stocks trade from supply to supply and demand, right? Here's the demand on the five-day, and then it hit the 10-day. The now, again, I, I, for all you guys have been watching this video for a while, you know the 10-day is the birth of the trade. So if, if Netflix loses the 10-day tomorrow, then you have a lot of room down. You have, you know, you have literally about... 15 to 20 points down for the next demand zone, but that's the whole point. Stock gets upgraded two days in a row, and two days in a row they sell it, they close below uh, technical uh, technical damage points, they confirm the next day, and now we're set up tomorrow for a potential another move down. So in theory, in common sense, and I say this to new traders, you know, a lot of times, you know, technical analysis is great and all these indicators are fine, whatever helps you, but sometimes common sense is the way to go. If a stock had this big, big run, got upgraded two days in a row, got sold two days in a row, well, what do you think is going to happen if the market continues to sell, right? There's just no, eventually buyers uh, get tired like everything else. Again, nobody's saying this thing's going to go back to uh, 580, but the point is, the theme is sell, 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 technical damage uh, gets confirmed uh, the next day. Even the chip names that we talked about yesterday, right? Uh, microchip, we talked about yesterday. Look at microchip, got absolutely uh, hit to This is a big, big move, you know, two-day move on microchip, uh, from this 145 level all the way down to 139 and change. That's a big move. It's not Tesla that's going to expand $17, $18 uh, every single day. You know, the, the, these stocks within their average true range are still going to get hit. And when they do get hit, again, you can take advantage of those areas. Even Clack, we talked about Clack yesterday, right? We talked about Clack holding on to this area two days in a row. This thing got hit as well. You know, five and a half points for Clack is kind of a big deal. So, you know, the market is definitely. Uh, paying and rewarding uh, those who are no, number one, um, you know, trading on the sell side, right? Um, definitely investors who saw this coming, um, really appreciate technical, advantage, uh, 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 technical analysis and use the, that information to kind of either hedge their portfolio, what we talked about uh, over the weekend, or kind of just get out of the way. But that for the foreseeable future is going to be the play. We, you know, we all know that the market traditionally has been bought on the dips and all that good stuff, but when there are pockets of downside value, this is where investors, if you don't know what's going on or just can't read a chart, you're going to be caught, uh, unfortunately, with uh, you know, we, we are pants below your ankles. Unfortunately, uh, that is going to be uh, your reality. So go, again, going into uh, tomorrow's session, uh, there's definitely names I kind of like, right? Letter U has been uh, pretty strong. Um, I like this BROS. BROS had this really big move a couple of days ago and, you know, kind of just rested today on lighter volume. Watch the top of this channel for tomorrow. This thing can wake up. Um, you know, put in a really good inside day. If it could wake up, who knows? Maybe you get a, a really good run for tomorrow. But there's still tons of value uh, to the downside. Look at this T-Rex. Uh, T-R-E-X got absolutely murdered today, right? And look where it is, folks. Look at the lows here from uh, August the 3rd. If this August the 3rd low uh, gets confirmed, there's another leg down on this thing. Uh, look at a name, for example, Robinhood, right? They're having uh, all these issues with... Uh, order flow and blah blah blah, but you know, look how close Robinhood is uh, to start its next leg down. Really, really close. I like Robinhood as well. Uh, I like Nvidia or Nvidia, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I like it as well. Putting a nice bear flag, holding on to the five-day moving average. This thing starts confirming, uh, it goes lower as well. So definitely, the value is uh, to the downside. I like Tesla as well. Maybe there's a sneaky channel uh, that we can take advantage of tomorrow. But I, again, I think based on order flow and the way Tesla trades, who knows, maybe it could get very, very aggressive uh, for its second day run after the highest close in its whole daily formation. Guys, have a great day, everybody. Hope everybody's staying safe. Hope everybody's staying smart. But most important, hope everybody is staying in business. Guys, have a great night. I'll see you all tomorrow.